reason for the name of God. Does it make a... Huh? Does it make a reason for you to come together for one? Not reason to come in together for another reason besides God. No. For the sake of God. For the sake of the name of God. For the sake of the kingdom of God. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. Praise God. Let me worship the Lord this morning, this afternoon. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. We give all the glory. We give all the honor. Thank you, Lord, for a blessed week, Lord. Father, we honor you. We worship you. There's no other God apart from you. We give up honor tonight, oh Lord. Let us go before the Lord. We've been taught about the power of unity. Go before the Lord and pray for unity in the body of Christ, in the family of CPIC, in all the ministry, unless we have unity. We've been told that when they, where there is unity, God commands a blessing. If we pray for a blessing without unity, it's all in vain. So the key thing is for us to be united so that God can pour blessings upon us, upon our families, upon our ministry. So go before the Lord and tell God, Lord, we pray for the spirit of unity among our brethren, among the men ministry, among the women ministry, among the children ministry, among the youth ministry. Abba, Father, we pray for your unity. We pray for your togetherness, King of glory, oh God. As we learned last time, all of us, your body of Christ, and everyone plays a very important role as we move the gospel of God ahead. Let us pray for you unity in the body of Christ. Jesus. Let us pray for unity we in the family of CPIC. Jesus. Ask God to unite us with one strong accord that nothing, that nothing can break it in the mighty name of them. Let us pray for unity among all the leaders in the family of CPIC. Let us go before the Lord and pray for unity in our families. Many families are crumbling because there is no unity. And when the family is breaking, the church of God cannot stand because the church of God is first made by family. Let us pray for family, for unity in our families. Let us pray for unity between husbands and wives. Let us pray for unity among the children. We have seen children which are not obedient to the, to the fathers, to the mothers. We have seen families getting scattered because there is no unity. Pray for unity tonight. Pray for your family. Pray for your extended family. You know that charity starts from home. And when there is no unity, we cannot move the gospel of God ahead. Father, Lord, we pray for your unity to dwell among us so that you can continue to command blessing upon us so Lord may you unite us with a strong accord that nothing can break. Father Lord we honor you, we adore you and we worship you. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor. Let us go before the Lord. I know all of us we have come for one reason tonight to seek the face of the Lord to hear from the Lord tonight for God to minister unto us I don't know what is that thing which is heavy in your heart go before the Lord and tell Lord as you bless everyone in this sanctuary Lord do not pass me tonight go before the and tell God Lord don't pass me tonight speak unto me tonight wherever you are you are praying for God to touch you are you sick in the body? Do you have a sick relative? Do you have a sick mother? Do you have a sick father? Do you have a sick brother or a sick sister? Go before that and tell God, Lord, I've come to your throne of mercy. Lord, I've come to seek your face. Oh, God. Lord, even as you touch your people tonight, King of glory, don't pass me by ask God. I don't want, I don't want to go back on the same way I came. I want to go back filled by your spirit. I want to go back change. What is that thing which is you cannot change by your own? What is that thing you are going through? The tough situation. What is that mountain you are facing? Tell God to remove all the mountains ahead of you. What is that value you've been struggling? Tell God tonight, Abba Father, as I come before your presence. Lord, may you touch.
shall think of glory. Oh God. Lord, we pray for your power. We pray for your church tonight, King of glory. Oh God. Let us pray for those people to come and fill us tonight. Even as we gather in this place, the word of us said where two or three are gathered, his presence is there. So we are in the house of God. Let us declare this place are holy ground. Let us declare this place are holy ground. Let us welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit tonight. May the Holy Spirit, the presence of and the Holy Spirit fill us tonight. May the Holy Spirit touch us tonight. May the Holy Spirit visit us tonight. Lord, we welcome for your presence, Abba Father. We pray for your touch. We pray for your healing this night, King of glory, O God. Father, Lord, we honor you. We adore you and we worship you. Let us pray for the nation. Let us pray for the peace of God. We have seen what is happening the last 24 hours. Let us pray for the peace of God. When there's no peace in the world, we are not living in Pray for the peace of God from the east to the west, from the south to north. Pray and declare the land is here. All the land is here. Let us ask God to raise up and to raise up an any form of fighting, any form of attack. As we gather tonight as children of God, because we are the few can sit for the one. Lord, we pray for unity. We pray for healing upon the nation. King of glory, oh God. Lord, we ask your peace to dwell in the nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Father, Lord, we honor you. Father, Lord, we adore you. We worship you. We adore you, King of glory, oh God. Let us pray for the praise team and our minister tonight. Even as they come to minister tonight, let them minister in the truth and in the spirit. Let their ministration have an impact in our lives tonight. Let the songs bring healing in our life. Let the song bring touch in our life. Let the, the song speak unto us. It's not about presentation, but it's about you, oh God. It's about you, Lord, tonight, oh God. May you touch us, King of glory, oh God. We pray for this, your servant, our Father. Even as he comes tonight to minister to us, so God. Let your word, Lord, speak unto us tonight, oh God. Father, Lord, we honor you. We adore you. Today is our only communion service. And we know the repercussion when we take the Holy Communion without being sanctified. I want us to go before the Lord and plead for the mercy of the Lord. Even as we start our service tonight, even as we enter into Holy Communion, may God have mercy upon us. Let us plead for the mercy of God upon us. When we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves. For we are falling short of the glory of the Lord. Plead for the mercy of the Lord tonight. And tell God I'm not worthy to stand before you. We have seen through our thoughts, through our talks, through our ways. No one is worthy to stand before the Lord tonight. Lord, we plead your mercy tonight, O oh God.
worship you, Jehovah. We praise your name, Jehovah. We praise your name, high Jehovah. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the honor. You are worthy. 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 You are worth
like a when I'm in a consider all thy wants, thy hands have failed. I see the stars. I hear. person by your side is not smiling. You're sitting with the, right, the wrong neighbor. If, if the person by your side is not smiling at you, you are, you are sitting with the wrong neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Somebody is not talking to the neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Yeah. If your neighbor is not answering you the way you are answering your neighbor, shout on your neighbor's ear. Hold the ear, hold it like and shout. Neighbor! neighbor. <laughs> is your neighbor there now? The boy, the neighbor. Some people, you have not gotten to where you have not gotten to where I want. Tell the neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. There, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this radiant of grace. I am. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Hallelujah. Yes. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, are you ready to praise God? Your neighbor is not answering you. That neighbor is saying that he's not ready to praise God. Ask your neighbor again. Are you ready to praise God? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Okay, look for another neighbor. Look for another neighbor. And tell the neighbor, neighbor, are you ready to praise God? Are you ready to praise the Lord? What is that neighbor saying? Huh? He's not responding. Oh, yeah, tell that neighbor. Ask that neighbor now. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine. You did not ask the neighbor. Ask the neighbor again. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord divine? Hey! There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine. Hallelujah. Come on, now, make sure the person by your side now is dancing. Let's go. Come on. If you're not dancing, that means you're not ready to praise God. Come on. Make sure you are shaking your body. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Glory and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. God, receive our praise. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Glory. Blessings and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Oh Lord, receive our praise. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. I am give the 
the Lord the dance of praise. Let's go. Come on. Say parara, parara, parara. Say parara, parara. Jehovah, 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 Jehov
Jehovah, 
my youth age, in my, in my young age, I'm still a youth. When I was still coming up as a child, now there is this song they used to sing in our church. Then, as a child, we just want to make different style. We want to make different style for the Lord. And then we ask you, the thing says, hey, why I don't go make Yanka? I go make Yanka. When you say you go make Yanka, you not give different style. You not give different style. When they say, why I no go make Yanga? Say, I go make Yanga. So if you know the style you can give to God. to God. Concentrate now. I want you to get. I want you to get connected now. It is not a time for jokes. Hey, payara baladoshi, na mana ya na ya na malonoshi, na ya baladeisha. We give you glory to your Father.
Yes, Lord, I'm great. I am. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Give me Matthew while we are standing, chapter number 8, from verse number 1. Matthew, chapter number 8, from verse number 1. God said to Moses, I am that I am. I have come tonight and tell you, I am that I am, has a date with you tonight. I am that I am, has an appointment with you tonight. Are you sick? I am that I am, has an appointment of healing with you tonight. Are you weary? Are you weak? Are you in pain? Are you bruised? Are you broken hearted? I am that I am. He's the great physician. He has an appointment with you tonight. The Bible says, when he had come down from the mountain, great multitude followed him. Verse number two, be fast, please. Let me read my Bible because of time. Matthew chapter 
number eight. Are we in verse two? And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Verse number three. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. Be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Verse number four. And Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony. As a testimony. I want us to pray for a few minutes before we hear the word, and I've already started preaching. The Bible says he came down from the mountain of prayer and he met one man with leprosy. No doctor could heal him. No physician could heal him. And he went to the master. Have you come to the end of the tunnel? Then he said, Lord, if you are willing, Jesus, if you are willing, they are the willing mothers in the house. They are saying, Lord, if you are willing, let my children not perish. Master, if you are willing, let my house not perish. He is willing tonight. The Bible says, and Jesus said, Son, I am willing. Tonight I want to begin by telling you that Jesus is willing. God is willing to make you all again. He is willing to bless you. He is willing to fight your battles. He is willing to enter your office and settle the scores. He is willing. The Bible says and Jesus said, Son, I am willing. Lift up your hands. Pray and say, Lord, I know you are willing. For one minute, just confess and say, Lord, I know you are willing. I know you are willing. You are willing to heal me, I know. You are willing, you are willing, Lord. Somebody lift up your hands. Cry out with a loud voice. Don't mind about your neighbor. Your pain is your pain. Your shame is your shame. Your pain is your pain. Your shame is your shame. Don't mind about your neighbor. Cry out unto the Lord. Because he is willing. He is willing. He is willing to bless you. He is willing to change your husband. He is willing to bring transformation into your life. He is willing to bless this church. He is willing to elevate us. He is willing to pour out the oil upon our lives. Shetala Baba. In the Likadaya Sundalaba. Rika mashanta yanda la bakosa, la kunda yanzindili ba, likumva raba sayanda yo, mariko to yanda, la kuzindili baka, levo seto yanda, la masento le ba 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 baka, shekete yenda, shentari yanta yanza, le kusa yante le bakose, inda la baboshanda. In Jesus Christ's name, somebody say yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter number five, they entered the boat with the disciples to cross over the other side of Gazarene. And the Bible says there was one man possessed with demons. And before then, in the middle of the sea, there was a lot of wave and a lot of storms. Because one man was on appointment with Jesus on the other side of the sea. And the demons sensed the deliverer for this man is coming. And this is our home and our dwelling place. And they tried to stop Jesus from the sea, but they couldn't stop him. The Bible says when he came on the other side, he asked this man, what is your name? He said, my name is Lynchon. Because he was possessed with many, many demons. Listen, everybody has a territory. 
Everybody has a territory. If you mark it in the spiritual realms, can be manifested in the physical. And the Bible says, and these demons spoke to Jesus, and they said, do not send us away. This is our territory. This is our dwelling place. Our weapons are fashioned only to engage the sons of men in this territory. If you send us in another place, we can't do anything. And they said, just command us to enter the swines. I want us to pray territorial prayers. Praise the name of the living God. Say my amen. amen. You have children, you have the fruit of the womb. You don't have kids, you are not yet married, but you can pray prophetically. Because you are going there. Say my amen. amen. And Jesus said, and he commanded the demons out of the man. And he was made to all again. I want us to go before the Lord and pray one prayer. Lord, 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 let nobody dispossess me from my territory. Say my amen. In my territory, I am equipped to wage war effectively against the enemy. Lord God Almighty, let the anointing fall upon me. In the name of Jesus, declare it by faith. Pray by faith. Pray by faith. Pray by faith. That within your dwelling walls, you shall not be terrified by anything. Within your dwelling walls, the enemy will not prevail over you. Pray, 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 pray. Declare by faith. Declare by faith. Declare by faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Pray one more prayer. I put angelic ants around my territory. Put angelic ants around your territory. Your children are your territory. Your husband is your territory. Your wife is your territory. Ramashata Yandalaba. Let no demon trespass. Let no witch doctor trespass. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. I'm rushing because of time. I want us prophetically to enter the future. And I want us to pray preventive prayers. To prohibit the enemy interfering with your children, with your destiny, with your husband. Say my amen. The Bible says in Psalms, keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. Psalm 16 verse 1. Keep me safe. Keep me safe. Keep my children safe. Keep my husband safe. Keep me safe. There are many storms around the world. But keep me safe, Lord. We live in uncertain times. But keep us safe. Pray by faith. Pray by faith. Close your, your eyes. Lift up your hands. Cry out to the Lord. Father, keep me safe. Keep me safe. Declare. I secure my destiny by the blood of Jesus. I secure the future of my children by the blood of Jesus. I secure my future by the blood of Jesus. Declare by faith somebody. Rama Shatayanda. Somebody Rikadayasa. Somebody Likudayasira. Lakusa Yandi Araba. Likusa Yanda Rabaka. Ribo Shetete. Rikoto. Ramapo Bosente. Yes, Shakata. Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And when they clear by faith, on the account of the blood of Jesus, our destiny is safe. Your future is safe. On the account of the blood of the Lamb, your destiny is secure. Your children are safe. 
whether you are alive or God, may God keep them safe in the name of Jesus. When you go to Acts of Apostles, chapter number 12, verse 1 to 4 and 5 to 7, the Bible says, Herod stretched his hand to harass the church. He took James and killed him. Shema, amen. The brother of John with a sword. And because it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to say, Peter also. But now it was during the days of unleavened bread. So when he arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him in four squads of, of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after fa- Passover. Or in other words, intending to kill him after the Passover. But the Bible says, verse number five, I've already begun preaching. So Peter was kept in prison by the church. Peter was kept in four squads of soldiers but the church. Peter was in prison isolated but the church. Peter was in pain. That's why we need one another. Hold your neighbor and say, I need you and you need me. Hold your neighbor's hand and say, we need one another. Don't let that hand go. The Bible says, while Peter was in prison, the church lifted her prayer for Peter. Listen. Peter's shade could heal people. He healed by his shadow. By passing with a shadow, cripples could walk. The sick were healed. I want to tell you why we need one another. The sick were healed. But while he was in prison, the shades, the shadow of Peter couldn't open the prison gates. His shadow could heal the sick and set the captives free. Keep holding that hand because we need one another. And the Bible says, why he was in prison because his shadow could not open the prison gates the church in prison he didn't need his shadow to deliver and heal him he needed the prayer of the church I want us to pray for the men of God Many times they come, they bless us. But there is a prison. There are things they go through that they need the prayer of the church. They bless when they are crying. They pray for your children to do well. When they are fighting some battles for their children at home. They spend nights praying for you to be safe and okay. But it's not okay with them. They forget their pain. But church remembered. When Peter was with with us. He was our priest and praying for us. Now that he is in prison. The Bible says. And the church. Uplifted up prayer. For Peter. I want us before we pray for pastors. Pray for the hand that you are holding. Pray for that brother. Pray for that sister. That in whichever situation he is in, let the angel of God visit him in that prison. Let the prison gates open. Let the chains fall off. Let the power of God come down in a mighty way. Breaking every yoke and every chain. Pray for that brother. Pray for his family. Pray for his children. Rama Shatayanda. We are the wailing men and the wailing mothers in the house. Pray for that brother. Shakatayanda Rabasaya. Rekama Santa. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Pray for that brother. Pray for that sister. Pray for them. Pray for them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray for pastors. I've watched so many presidents globally. No matter how powerful they are, the defense force of the nation, in other words, the army, they don't allow the president to fly alone. Even when he's flying to a foreign land, he flies with a personal bodyguard. Now let's come to the spiritual realms. It's your responsibility to work with your pastor. It's your responsibility to stand behind him and petition heaven that Lord keep my priest safe. Because when the president is safe, the nation is safe. If any president of any nation is taken captive by another nation, they all are enslaved by that nation. But when our president is safe, the nation is safe and is insecure. Very secure. Lift up your hands. I want us to pray for the high priest of this house, for the papa of the house. I want us to cover him by the blood of Jesus. I want to pray lengthen of days with his strength, with power, and full of anointing shall be his portion in the land of the living. Break forth and pray. Declare it by faith. Lengthen of days. Strength. His strength will not diminish. His power will not decrease. His anointing shall be renewed. The power of God shall reign upon him. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Pray in the name of Jesus. May the Lord keep him safe. We secure his destiny. We secure his life. As our Papa. As our spiritual authority. We pray for him as his children. Lord. Keep him safe. Keep his family safe. Bless his son. Bless him Lord. Bless his ministry. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Say my amen. Always pray for your pastor. Always. I had one revelation this afternoon. I was sharing with Pastor John. And I realized the need for the church to pray. Pray for one another. The Bible says, and while Peter was kept in prison, it is the church that prayed for him. Don't laugh at your sister or mock him or her. Not mock at your brother when he's going through pain. The Bible says, and the apostolic church, they came together, prayed for one another. They broke the bread together. And when one of them was in pain, they shared his pain. Pray for one another. The days are evil. We live in uncertain times. Pray for one another. Say my amen as you sit down. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire, the darkest night. You are quiet, you are close like no other. I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. Don't my life. You have been faithful, God. All my life, you have been so, so good. Every breath that I am able, God, I will sing of the goodness of God. Why I can't hear your voices? 
I love you, Lord. You have led me through the fire, darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. I have lived in the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful, God. And all my life you have been so, so good. I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head down, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful, God. And all my life you have been so so good yeah. with every breath yeah. that I am yeah. oh God I will see of the goodness of God I will see of the goodness of God Shema Amen so my amen. Genesis chapter number three. From verse number one. The Bible says, Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, I'm beginning from verse number three because of time. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to, Pete, to the serpent, We may eat of, fr of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said you shall not eat. You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw the tree was good for food, and I beg, please follow me, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to, the, to her husband with her, and he ate. And even had um, he knew this is the same tree. This is the fruit of the same tree that God said, do not touch it or eat it. But when Eve brought it to him, he didn't even question him. He didn't ask anything. The Bible says, and he took and he ate of that fruit. Amen. Verse number six, then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sealed thick leaves together and made themselves coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. Remember before they ate from the tree, God could come, they could fellowship. They never realized they are naked. They were not afraid to be even in the presence of the Lord. But this time after they disobeyed God, the Bible says they heard his voice in the cool of the day. They hid themselves. They hid themselves from the presence of God, from their maker, from their God, from their helper. They hid themselves. Sema amen. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. 
Then the Lord God called Adam and said, where are you? So he said, I heard your voice. And I was afraid because I was naked and hid my servant. He said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you that you should not eat? So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cast more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. Now listen from verse 14 is very important. Now verse 15. And I will put an enmity between you and the woman. Now here, God has put an enmity between the serpent and the woman. But now the next part of the verse breaks it down. And the Bible says, and between your seed. I didn't only put your enmity between you, serpent and the woman. No. But even between your seed and her seed. So God put enmity between the woman and the serpent. Between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible says, He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Now to the woman, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception in pain. You shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be of your husband and you shall, he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, because you have heeded to the voice, everybody was taking his portion slowly, slowly. God was breaking it down slowly, slowly. Now it's from Eve, it's from the serpent and the woman. The seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. And now he has come to the head of the family. Amen. Now he says, because you have heeded to the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you. And you see, for men, it's good to pray for your wife. If they miss it, you can miss it as a man. You see, the fruit was brought to Adam. He didn't even question. She, she just cut walked. One, two, three. He went off. Just get the fruit. He ate. Even without question. He could, his eyes could see. This is the fruit that God told us don't eat. He could see. He knew. But the cut will confuse him. <laughs> Samson. A mighty man. No man could bring him down. But when he sat on the laps of Delilah, he forgot whether he was anointed. By the time they shaved him, he wasn't aware. Even those who were shaving him were not experts. They were doing it just very fast. They could cut his head, but he never felt the pain. Because he was on the laps. Anointed laps with demonic power of Delilah. And he never realized until he was completely shaved. And then he said, when he was told the Philistine, he said, I will go as before. But the Bible says, indeed, he didn't realize that God's power had already left him. The spirit of God had already left him. Even when the oil is leaving, you may not realize. They went before the priest and said, we sold the land, this amount. Anania and who? Sapphira said to them, no, 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 no. Why do we take all this to the church? They may be colors. So, man, as you pray for yourself, pray more for your wife. Because if a woman misses it, the family will miss it completely. She is not the head. She is your helper. And sometimes, she can help you in what she is building. Say my man. <laughs> when I pray for myself, I pray in the book for my wife. Amen. The Bible says that you are weak vessels. But if a man can try to take the pain of a woman to labor, what I think man will die. So I believe they are strong. And that's why they prevail in what they put their heart to do.
Cursed is the ground for your sake. This is to Adam. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat of the herb. I love this verse. In Swahili it says, Aldi itakuzalia michogoma na magugu. In my language, I love it. They say, Miwa nandangila ikakumea. You know, it's a good thing to read the word and then get understanding of the scripture one by one. Thorns and thistles shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you, you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. In every barrier you hear this verse. Every barrier. For unto dust man came, and to dust he shall return. I'm preaching about when the church dare pray and believe. When the church dare pray and believe in their prayer. The Bible says, you see, God gave dominion to man. Dominion over every creature. But man through disobedience he ceded his dominion to Satan, to Satan. And when he ceded his dominion, Satan took advantage of it. But God created man to have dominion in the days of his life. And there is a need for the church to pray and to stay in prayer and to keep praying and to believe in their prayer. Say my amen. The Bible says. Cast. The serpent was cast. Satan took and entered. The serpent. And deceived the woman. The woman deceived man. They both were undeceived. And they disobeyed, they disobeyed God. And because of their disobedience, the Bible says, God never cursed man. The Bible says to Adam, for you are sick. God did not cast man because he blessed man. And he will not cast that which he has blessed. Say my man. Therefore, he looked at man. He saw his image. He saw him serving man. And he couldn't curse his image. He had already blessed his image. He has already blessed his likeness in man. He said, son, but for your sake, the ground is cursed. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and they pray I will heal there already from the garden of Eden for the sake of you man. Because my image is in you. My likeness is in you. And I have already blessed my likeness and my image. And I can't curse it. I can't bring curse upon my image and likeness. But for your sake man. The crown is cast. And the land that was a blessing now, shall, from that moment, it shall bring thistles. You shall eat out of your sweat all the days of your life until you return to the crown. Say my amen. Say my amen. 
thorns and thistles now since he is cast it means what you don't desire and like shall come forth you are already blessed man i've already blessed you but what you depend on here on earth the ground is already cast that's why he said to his children wherever the sole of thy feet shall tread upon i will give you as inheritance and it was out of covenant so tell me the ground is cast how can you survive without prayer we live in uncertain times unpredictable times times are hard seasons are tough how can you navigate through the storms of end time without prayer how will your children survive this 21st century and dot com generation without prayer somebody say amen when the church they are pray and believe in their prayer times are tough the economy is not getting better cast is the crown for your sake i have blessed you but the crown for your sake is already cast how will you survive without prayer before covid hit hard i've seen senior managers directors laid off they went home engineers big big people people who said my job is secure i have good insurance but one storm shook the nations of the earth and they were gone wakuabudiwa wakuheshimiwa ni wewe mungu wakupewa sifa na utukufu ni wewe mungu mungu mwenye nguvu wastahili heshima zote unafanya mambo yaliyo juu ya fahamu zetu mungu wakuhabudiwa wakuhabudiwa wakuheshimiwa ni wewe mungu wakupewa sifa na utukufu ni wewe mungu unafanya mambo yaliyo juu ya fahamu zetu mungu wewe unatupa kushindana zaidi ya kushinda wewe unatupa kushindana zaidi ya kushinda wakuhabudiwa wakuhabudiwa wakuheshimiwa ni wewe Mungu wakupewa sifa 
na utukufu ni wewe Mungu unafanya mambo yaliyo juu ya fahamu zetu Mungu unatupandisha utukufu hadi utukufu Mungu wakuabudiwa wakuheshimiwa ni wewe Mungu wakuabudiwa wakuabudiwa wakuheshimiwa ni wewe Mungu wakupewa sifa wakupewa sifa na utukufu ni wewe Mungu unafanya mambo unafanya mambo yaliyo juu ya fahamu zetu Mungu hakuna mwingine wakulinganishwa na wewe Mungu wakuabudiwa wakuabudiwa wakuheshimiwa ni wewe Mungu Sema amen John chapter number 14 verse number 1 The Bible says do not let your hearts be troubled Yeah I am blessed and I know the ground is cast for my sake I know I have many sorrows and pains in the days of my life diseases and sicknesses but the things that God does cannot be compared to anything that is close to what man can do God does extraordinary things and that's why the, the song has said there is no one to be worshiped like him now do not let your hearts be troubled believe in me and believe in God i know things are uncertain but don't get troubled brother sister i know your children are not doing well but keep praying keep fasting believe in your prayer do not let your hearts be troubled don't be tired in praying don't be tired in waiting don't be tired in giving you don't know when he shall come do not be tired in praying don't be tired in giving don't be tired in waiting you don't know when he shall oh we are expecting jesus we are expecting jesus we are expecting jesus you don't know when he shall come don't be tired in praying don't be tired in waiting don't be tired in praying you don't know when he shall come don't be tired in believing and praying you don't know the day of your miracle don't let your hearts be troubled believe in god and also believe in me a lot is going on beata but not let not your heart be troubled we live in uncertain times church but don't be troubled you don't have the job of your desire but don't get troubled this is this without without any physician to give a 
solution of cancer, AIDS, different sicknesses and diseases. But don't be troubled. Have peace and believe in God. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds my future. And life is worth the living just because he, because he lives, because he lives, I can face tomorrow, because he lives, all fear is gone, because I no, oh, he holds my future, and life is worth the living just because he lives. Don't be troubled because he lives, and I know he's alive. I can still face tomorrow. I know today I'm broken hearted. I know today I am down. But because he lives. I know today I'm going through shame. I know today I don't have it all. I know I'm the topic in the town. I know I have good papers. But I'm still a cleaner. I have good papers. But still I didn't get the job of my desire. But because master lives. Because God lives. Because he lives. Because he cares for me. I'm not troubled about tomorrow. I can still face tomorrow. Hallelujah. I face today with my pain. I face today unemployed. I face today in shame. But tomorrow, I will face my tomorrow with a testimony. Amen. I will face tomorrow with my healing. Amen. I will face tomorrow being glorified. Amen. In many instances, the same place of my pain has become the place of my glory. Amen. They crucified Jesus on that cross. A sign of salvation and at the same time pain. Sorrow. They say to Jesus, Master, Master, the King of the Jews, deliver yourself. But he knew the hour had not come. Have you dared believe and pray and you know still the time has not come? But I keep fueling myself, renewing my strength through prayer. So that when it's my turn, I will be prepared and ready for my miracle. Jesus knew it's not yet my time. And it was the place of pain and sorrow and shame. That's why the Bible says in despised the shame of the cross. But one man was standing there. When he gave up his spirit. The Bible says. And he said for sure. He is the son of God. Have you gotten your testimony? Until people said, we said she is crazy, but she wasn't crazy. She was preparing for something better. Yeah. I can't finish because of time. We'll carry on another day. It came a time, me, I don't know how to give my testimony at ago. I know how to give my testimony in bits. It came a time when we were believing God. I changed my name to Caleb. It was crazy. It, it, you see, a, a natural man cannot understand the prophetic things. And then my wife will come and say, hey, can you go and do one, two, three? I, I ask, can I go with Caleb? She said, yeah, go with him. 
All my electronics password was Baba Caleb. All my electronics, even today my tablet, even today. It has stayed like that for more than three years. In the church, they are praying and believe in their prayer. There shall be manifestation. It might deter it, but keep waiting and keep believing. And it just stayed like that. And sometimes she'll come and say, Ah, who did this one? Who kept this one? I say, It's Caleb. You can ask him. And one time I said, Nita Muekele had Yakuja. Say my amen. amen. Don't let your hearts be troubled. And I kept believing and praying. The place of your shame shall be the same place of your glory, of your great testimony. Don't get tired in waiting, praying, and believing. Stay on it. Say my amen. I've named all my children. All of them. When Caleb came, I'm praying for him and telling him, you bro- two brother, one brother is coming and your sisters. I always tell him, blessing Mumba is coming. Mumba means beautiful. Precious Mwenda is coming. Mwenda means the beloved. Don't ask the name of the son. <laughs> Say my amen. amen. But his vernacular name means miracle, chama. And I'm naming their names. And I'm praying, I'm believing, I'm staying on it. If the church dare pray and believe. And sometimes I don't call her Mama Caleb. I say, hey, Mama Blessing. Hey, Mama Precious. I need it. Yeah. You, you are praying to become a manager, but you are still behaving like a cleaner. You are believing for a senior position. But you are still taking tea in office like this. And you are believing God for a manager position. You don't know how to dress well in your office. You dress t-shirts and honey howly. I believe there are nature of jobs that demand so. But I'm saying there are jobs that you need to dress well, right? Yeah. Amen. You need to get in the office with that suit and that tie. Or you need to be smart. You are believing God for a wife. And you are just dressing any howling and sagging your trousers. You still get a sagging woman. Amen. 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 And I call their names one by one. And I pray for them. And I've determined what my son will become. And nobody names my children. I name them what the spirit of God leads me to name them. And every name has a prophetic meaning. And what I name them they shall become because I'm their father. The Bible says, and Adam, when he was naming all the animals, whatever he called them, that's what they were and that's what they became. When the spirit of God was upon him. Stop telling me to name them after my grandfathers. I don't know which God they worshipped back in the days. I'm a different animal born in this 21st century. My own father is a pastor, but he said, don't get into this transition of naming one, two, three. Do it as part of the leading of the Spirit of God. The Bible says in Matthew chapter number 13, when you go and read verse 35, Two minutes and I sit down. And a farmer sowed a good seed in his ground. And the Bible says at night the enemy came and planted tears. That's why I'm saying this brother. You want to marry. Behave well. Dress well. Just simple. Just simple. But be neat. Be clean. In your office. You want a bigger office. But when you enter office. You are like. <laughs> I 
And the Bible says, they came, the servants came and said, we planted good seed, but we found out that there are tears. That's why young people don't marry her because she is beautiful. Don't marry her because she has good hips. Don't marry her because she has a killer smile. The Bible says in the same ground where the farmer planted wheat, the same, same ground where they are speaking in tongues, the same ground, the enemy, when men slept, planted tears. And when a wheat brother marries a tear sister, he in a problem forever. Be ye led by the Spirit of God. We hear people say, no, they gossip to me. They don't like me. They will not like you because you have different seed. You have different seeds. What kind of a seed are you in the house of God? Are you a wheat or tears? Brother, don't rush because she's beautiful. She has a nice job. Consider what kind of a seed she is. Don't marry because when she is passing, every man is standing behind. No. We don't marry for attention. We marry, we marry for companion. Because if you marry tear and you are the seed of wheat, there will be problem in that family. When the church, they are praying. Say my amen. amen. Believe in your prayer. And don't pray thy will, thy will be done. No, 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 no. There are times not, not it's about his will. When Jesus was on the cross, he knew his time had come. He said, Father, if now is your will, let this cup pass me. But he knew the time had come. That's why he said, Father, if this is your will. Hey, when Peter was thinking, he didn't say, Father, let your will be done. He cried out and said, Jesus! And Jesus held his hand and said, you of little faith. What kind of a seed are you in the house of God? Say my amen. Stay on it. Don't give up. Keep praying and believe in your prayer. Shall we all stand as pastor takes over? Appreciate God for this wonderful message. Appreciate God if you made a business with God. Shall we rise up? Shall we rise up? The church offered constant prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. The church did what? Offered constant prayer. Hallelujah. We are going to pray this evening. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself to pray for a few minutes in the name of Jesus. Because the enemy is at work. If we don't pray, the enemy will take over. If the church will not pray, the enemy will do what? We take over. Raise up your hand and start saying, oh Lord. Give me the strength to pray now. Give me the power to pray now. Give me the strength to pray now. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and ask God to give you strength to pray now in the name of Jesus. Because the church will not stop praying. The church will not stop praying. We will not stop praying. We will not stop praying. In the name of Jesus, nothing will stop us praying. Lift up your hands and lift up your voices. Raise your voice and pray. Give me strength. Give me strength, oh God, as I come to pray right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Raise your voice and say, My Father and my God. My Father and my God. Uh, uh, that is not the way we are going to do. Acts chapter 12, we were told that Herod did what? 
he went out to persecute those who are in faith. To persecute the church. You're going to say, my father and my God. My father and my God. Lift up your hands. You mean business with God now. My father and my God. My father and my God. Every evil hand. Every evil hand. Rise in. To cause pain to the church. Oh Lord. Break it now in the name of Jesus. Make it a prayer tonight. Every evil hand. Evil hand of error. Evil hand of the Satan. Evil hand of the enemy. Rising up to cause panic. Rising up to cause pain to the church. Oh Lord. Break it now. Break it now. Break it now. Evil hand. Rising to cause pain in your family. Rising to cause pain to your children. Rising to cause pain to your husband. Rising to cause pain to your marriage. Break it now in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Raka zekekete. Evil hand. Evil hand. Oh my God. Evil hand. Rising to cause pain. Tonight, tonight, tonight. May the Lord break it. May the Lord break it. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. My father and my God. My father and my law. My father and my law. Every satanic blanket. Every satanic blanket. Covering the glory of the child. Covering the glory of the child. Catch fire now. In the name of Jesus, ah. pray, 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 pray. The glory of the church will not go. The glory of the church will not go. Every satanic blanket, ah. every satanic garment. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Satanic garment. Ah. Satanic garment. Ah. Oh God, we pray. Oh Lord, we pray. Pray, pray, pray for yourself. Every satanic garment ah, that have been put over your family, that have been put over your job. Today, 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 the glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord is risen. Prayer, 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 prayer. Shekaraba sekekete. Rekaka sekekete. In this year of the year of glory. In this year of divine glory. Our glory will not be covered. Oh Lord. We pray today. We pray today. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. My father and my God. My father and my Lord. Today I pray, every evil yoke, holding my star, what are you waiting? Catch fire now, evil yoke, evil yoke holding you, evil yoke from the pit of hell that is holding your star. Your star will shine, your star will shine, your star will shine in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. My father and my God, evil yoke, every evil yoke, holding my star, holding your star today, today, today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It's that kind of prayer we don't pray like this. You pray, you dig it out. You mean business with God. Your star is going and you're just praying like this. Oh, la, la, la. No, no, no. You dig it out. You are releasing yourself. You are setting yourself free. Amen. You are going to pray again that prayer. My father and my God. My and my every God. evil yoke. Every evil from the pit of hell. Holding, holding my star. Not to shine today. To oh shine God. Today. Let your fire catch it now. Pray it now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. You are star my shine. You are star my shine. Receive your star back. Receive your star back. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. The last prayer point you are going to pray. My father and my God. Every evil voice. Speaking against your church. Oh Lord. Silent it now in the name of Jesus. Silent it now in the name of Jesus. Speaking against your family. Oh Lord, silent it now in the name of Jesus. Make it a prayer. Make it a prayer. Make it a prayer. Oh, come on. If there is any church can pray, there is a God in heaven. Pray, 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 pray. Shake it, 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 
voice, every voice. Oh Lord, terminate it, terminate, 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 terminate it. Oh shake, 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 Speaking against your career. Oh my God, oh my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Oh my Lord, my Lord, my God. Pray, 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 pray. Shaka, shaka, shaka. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Any evil voice speaking against your family, may the Lord terminate that voice. Any voice speaking against your marriage, may the Lord terminate that voice. Evil voice from the pit of hell speaking against your jaw, against your business, against your children. Today, oh Lord, terminate it. Terminate it, oh Lord. Terminate it, oh Lord. Terminate it, oh Lord. Oh my God. They are saying that you cannot build your house. They have seen you starting something. They said you cannot make it. They say that you know you 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 you're going to build that house, but you not stay in that house minus you. The devil is a liar today. The devil is a liar today. Every evil word spoken against you, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Oh kakakakata. Those words are taking backward somersault now. Backward somersault now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Re kakakata. Your family is safe. Your ministry is safe. The church will not stop praying. If there is a church that can pray, there is a God in heaven that answers prayer. Every evil voice is silenced today in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. We have two special people that are friends tonight. And the airspace must respond to the prayer of the church must respond to the prayer of the saints amen hallelujah i want us to agree hold to your neighbor and we are going to pray no disaster sky must be safe the sky must be safe no termination of the journey the same god who free with them he will bring them safe as the church prays today those who are traveling, because there's some wars going on somewhere. I don't want to mention because we are online. The, the sky must respond. The airspace must respond to the prayer of the church. The airspace, oh my God, must respond to the prayer of the saints. Oh my God, no missiles that will drop any airplanes. No incident, no accident. Oh my God. Ah, if you can speak in the tongues, start speaking in the tongues. You don't know who is flying. You don't know who is flying. Maybe it's your brethren, maybe it's your... But I want you to raise your voice. The airspace. Respond. We speak peace. We speak the hand of God. We speak the hand of God. Oh, pray for Papa and Mama. As they travel tonight, oh God, they will bring them safer. Oh God, we shall not hear anybody. The vessel, the vehicle, the instrument. That, oh, Father, we are praying as a church. We are praying, oh God, cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Oh God, a prayer of thank you. A prayer, a prayer, a prayer for safety. Oh, we declare safe sky. We pray as great skies upon those who are traveling today. We pray for Papa. We pray for Mama. Oh God, they on your hands today. Oh Lord, we pray as the church. Come and shake, pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. pray, pray. It is, it is. No missiles, no missiles. The sky, sky must be safe. Shakarara, shendera baba. Whoosh! Power, power, power. Pray, 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 pray. Raise your voice, raise your voice. We are praying today for safe sky. Release, release, release the power of God now. Release the power of God. Safety is their protection. Safety is their portion. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We declare safe landing. We declare journey masses. We declare that the, the sky is whole. There is peace on the airwaves. There is peace on the airspace. In the name of Jesus. 
we terminate every evil plan of the enemy every wicked of the enemy every wicked schemes oh god we terminate it now in the name of jesus oh my god we pray for safe traveling in the name of jesus lord i want to thank you as a church we want to thank you even for those who traveled over the last few weeks oh god and they are back in the country thank you for our beloved oh god that they went and they are back safely oh god we thank you for their lives oh god you watch over them oh god we pray in the name of jesus a prayer of thanksgiving my father and my god we want to pray for those who are even planning to travel that god you go with them and you bring them safely oh god among us in our midst, oh God, if there's anyone who's traveling on the sky, we pray for safety, protection, in the name of Jesus. Father, even for your servant, a great man of faith, our papa and mama, as they depart from that city, oh God, we pray for them in the name of Jesus, oh God. In the next few hours, as they come to the city, to the city of appointment, the city of assignment. Oh God, they'll come back again to the kingdom assignment because this is the city of the kingdom assignment. You will bring them safely in the name of Jesus. You will bring them home safely in the name of Jesus. And any plan of the wicked one, oh God, nullify it now in the name of Jesus. Nullify it now in the name of Jesus. Oh, we come against every schemes of the enemy. Oh, we disappoint the enemy. May shame and approach be to the, our enemy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the church today. Lord, thank you for your servant that I've reminded through you, oh God, if the church can pray, there is a God in heaven who answers prayer. Father, we will not that we are we will not go back. We will not go sleeping. We will not go in slumber mood, oh God. But we shall rise up as a church to pray, oh God. To stop every schemes of the enemy. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you answer our prayers. Thank you, Lord, because you hear our prayers. Thank you, Lord, because you do exceedingly and above all our expectation. And we know with this message, oh God, we are going far. Our prayer life will change. Our devotion time will change. Our way of living will change. Through your message from your servant, oh God. Our lifestyle will change. And we shall live for you. In the name of Jesus. To you be the glory. And to you be the honor. Thank you for using your servant tonight. As a vessel. To deliver your message. And Father, we pray for him. For a fresh anointing. And a new word every day, oh God. Every stand before your people that he will deliver your message, not his message. He will deliver your word. Thank you, Lord, for his family. For they have been a blessing to us. And we continue to pray, God, that he will extend and expand their territories, their boundaries, oh God. Thank you for your church that is ready to receive from you, my God and my Father. Even every message that is delivered from this pulpit, that they take it as they are wide and they turn around to run with it. We thank you, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Holy Communion. The word of God says in the book of Luke chapter 22. This is what God has commanded us to do. We were celebrating Easter the other day. And we were celebrating the coming of Christ. And Jesus going to the cross. And the, and the body of Jesus was bruised. The blood of Jesus was shed for us. And before Jesus, he said, he took the bread, and when he gave thanks, he broke it and gave to them, saying, this is my body, 
which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So when we are taking the wine and the bread, we reflect to the cross what Jesus did for us. We remember the love of God. We remember the healing that Jesus purchased for us. We remember the liberty that Jesus brought for us. We remember the reverence that Jesus brought for us. So as you partake this, know that healing is taking place in your body now. Remember the deliverance. Remember that you have been set free. You are no more in bondage. Remember the love of God. That you are no more a slave in sin. That you have been set free. Remember that you are not a gentile. But you are a kingdom citizen. That is the essence of taking this wind, wine and the bread. Because Jesus told us, remember, remember. Don't remember your problems. Don't remember your situation. Remember the love of God. Remember what the Lord did for you. That you are lost. That you could not be found. That you are in the mighty cray. That he picked you up. That you could not do anything for yourself. But today, because of his grace and his mercy, you can stand and worship him. You can go to the inner court and worship him. Because of his grace and his mercy, you can go and offer for yourself. You can go and give him a, a, a gift of thanksgiving, a sacrifice of thanksgiving. You don't need any man to go on your behalf. Jesus dropped and he divided the curtain so that you can remember that. Start thanking God for that. Start thanking God even as the wine comes before you this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, start thanking God that you have been set free. That you have been set free. We worship you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you for that. We know the answers of this holy communion in our life. We don't take it to fulfill as the tradition of the church. No. We take it as a worship. We take it, oh God, because you have commanded us to do so in a worthy manner. As your church come and partake it, we take it in a worthy manner. Lord, forgive us and cleanse us our sins. We thank you, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Bread of heaven, humility like Feel my home. I lifted up Blood. Come and change these dust of my soul. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, fill me, fill me, seal I want you. Feel my God, feel it now. Make it all. Sing with power tonight. Feel my God. Ask the Lord to fail you today. I feel of Lord. Oh Lord, come and quench. Come oh, and man, quench the thirst of my soul. The blood of Jesus set from sin our souls. The blood of Jesus set me free. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set. Set me free. 
Amen and amen. I believe we have been served with the bread and the wine. The word of God tells me, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance. Let's partake it in unison. And in the same manner, also he took the, the cup after the supper saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's partake it and drink it in unison. Start thanking God for sending Jesus. Start thanking God for your salvation, for your life, for your healing. Start thanking him for delivering you. You've been set free. You're no more under condemnation. With this remembrance, you have remembered the love of God. He loved you. Everybody may forsake you, but God will always be with you. Oh, start thanking him for the love. Start thanking him for sending Jesus. Thank you for the close, O oh Lord Jesus. You are God. Thank you, Lord. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your restoration now in the name of Jesus. All that was lost is coming back to you in the name of Jesus. Receive your health back in the name of Jesus. Receive your life back in the name of Jesus. Receive everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Thank you for that moment of worship. That where we have come to partake the body and the blind, oh God. You are God in our life. And today, God, look into our heart and meet the desires of our heart today in the name of Jesus. Those who are seeking for healing, Father, touch them in the name of Jesus. Those who are seeking for restoration in whatever ways in their life, restore them today in the name of Jesus. Those who are seeking for deliverance, Father, deliver them. Those who feel that their heart is heavy, Father, take away that burden in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again because of your love. We worship you, we adore you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. If you know that the Lord has done you well, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. You can do better than that in the name of Jesus. You can do better. You can do better.
faithful to us. The Lord has been good to us. Amen. And please be ready to welcome them back. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Also, we want to thank God for those who traveled, those who have been away. Good to see you, Maggie. It's been a long time and your family. Appreciate our sister there. Please. Yes, good to see you and your sister there and your family there. Also, Mama Lisa is back. Also, let's appreciate Mama Lisa. <laughs> good to have our mom back in town. Mama, we welcome. Let's appreciate our mom, please. Who has traveled? Who has traveled? I cannot see. Yeah. You, you have been away, and you did not mention, please. Ah, you have bamboo. Let's appreciate our sister here, Sister Beata. Our beloved sister, please. Who is planning to travel? Don't go out of the town without. Yes, please see me after the service. I'll pray for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't travel unnoticed. Amen. Amen. I have a reason for that. Don't travel unnoticed. Better you come to me after the service and say, I'm traveling. Pray with me. But don't pack and go out of the town. We have a covenant with God. We have an agreement with God. Amen? And we believe in what we pray. The destination you are going, may God watch over you. Not everybody is happy when you travel. Do you think that? Don't assume it. They will laugh with you. They will make all oh, fun. Oh, you're welcome. You're coming from abroad and all that. Nobody is happy. Few people are wicked. Because then they did not travel. There's where they go. They want to make a covenant. Because of their traveling, it gives them trouble. Please, come and see me if you're planning to travel next week or the days to come. I'll pray with you. Amen. And the Lord will be with you. You don't have to fear anything. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is on our side. So please remember morning glory. And don't forget that we are meeting every 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. online. We always have a good time to pray, to pray, to pray. Hallelujah. Just before we go out for our usual business. So, uh, Mama Lisa, marriage mentorship classes will start back when? Next month, okay? Mama is back in the next few days. The Wednesday programs, is it Wednesday or Saturdays now? Saturday's program will be back again. So you can check with uh, class coordinators for more details on that. And also, don't forget on 28, in the next two weeks' time, we must check the ground here. Are you ready for this? Praises, dancing, rejoicing. Everything must be good. Amen? Morning Glory. This is a very important program for this church. It's four years. If you remember those who are here during COVID, what God did for us. Amen? Because we used to wake up early in the morning and pray. The entire season. And we did not stop praying. And it has been four years since March 2020. And we are still praying. And you are not going to stop. So we have t-shirts. I think t-shirt is around now. Please make sure you pick your t-shirt for that day. Come, look smart. Let us rejoice in the presence of God. Send your testimony. Prepare your testimony. Prepare your thanksgiving. Come and thank God. Even if you have joined us for one week, you have joined us for the last one month, the last three months, six months, one year, it doesn't have to be four years, no. Anytime you have joined us, you have had a good time in the presence of God. Amen? So share your testimony, prepare your thanksgiving, be ready for this beautiful day, even as we thank God. Amen? So please, let us uh, follow all what is happening online, our Bible study on Tuesday. Let us follow it, be there from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Please make sure you are there on Tuesdays. Next week is a uh, victory hour service. Come, let us pray together. Receive your victory. 
Bring your friends. Invite someone. It's our power pack service. Power pack service. Amen? Victory hour. You'll never miss again. You'll never want to miss again. Amen? Amen? You receive your job. You receive your healing. You receive your labor. If anyone is suffering out there that you need healing, bring him in the house of God. Amen? That day. That day. And receive your healing. Amen? The Lord bless you. Shall we stand? Anyone fellowshipping with us for the first time? Yes, it's your first time. I appreciate that, brother, on my behalf. Thank you for coming. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful people. Beautiful people. I appreciate them. One more time. The Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Even as we share a cup of tea after the service. And the grace. And the love of God. Be with us now. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good to see you, sister.